Hey, Treasure Fans, your pal Big D back here again with a few movie reviews. I haven't done this in a while, so I thought I would do it. Um, recently, I believe it was a few weeks ago, I showed you my Vinegar Syndrome pickups. Vinegar Syndrome had a big Halfway to Black Friday sale uh, about a month or so ago. So I got a, a few movies in that sale, and I wa I've been watching them lately, so I wanted to review a few of these things and let you know what my thoughts are. So the first movie I watched was Pledge Night. Um, I'd never seen, actually, these these three movies here, I'd never seen any of them. These four movies I'm going to show you today, I've never seen any of them, so this was all new to me. So Pledge Night was the first one. Uh, this was a movie, interesting movie. Um, it did start off a little bit slow. Um, it took about a half an hour, 40 minutes to really get going, but once it did, it was really cool. But essentially this movie is about the fact that this, these people, this uh, fraternity was doing this prank back, uh, I want to say in the 60s. Um, they thought they were pouring a bunch of stuff into this thing and it turned out to be sulfuric acid and they killed this guy. Um, fast forward 20 years later, a new fraternity's taken over the, the house, they're all doing their stuff, and this guy, as ghost comes back and starts picking them off one by one. Um, pretty generic story, but it, it had like a neat little, neat little twist, which I figured out about, oh, about two thirds of the way through the movie. But I actually really did enjoy it. The gore effects were actually pretty good in it. Um, like I said, once the first half hour, 40 minutes are, are really slow. They're really trying to develop the characters a bit, trying to get you into the mood. So I just go flow. Once, like the, I'd say halfway through the second act hits, it does pick up quite a bit. Once the, once the actual ghost comes out, starts, you know, taking out people. But I really did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, slow in the beginning, but otherwise, it was a lot of fun. I give it a solid 6 out of 10. There was a few issues with it, but I'll definitely watch it again. So that is Pledge Night. The next one I watched, and this one, I love this movie. I really want to watch it again really soon. And that one is Raw Force. This movie was a trip. I I, I, I heard rumors about this thing. It was like action and martial arts and stuff like this. But it, it went beyond that. This movie was insane. Essentially, it's about these people who are... Uh, this island has all this jade and these people that live on the island are, are, are grabbing this jade and the, the people that are getting the jade from this island are bringing these girls over there and they're trading these girls for the jade. And they're selling the jade and obviously making a bunch of money. These group of tourists end up landing on the island. They end up crashing on the island and then they find out about stuff and all hell, all insanity breaks loose. It's a bunch of, it's a bunch of funny scenes. Um, Sid Hay, I think Sid Hay was in this, wasn't he? Um, oh gosh. I'm pretty sure he was. I could be wrong on that. It doesn't show on the thing. It's been, I, I watched it about a week ago. So, um, but it's got zombies in it. There were there, there there was at one point there's like zombie ninjas, which was awesome to see zombie ninjas around. And it just it's just madcap. It's it, you can't take it seriously. It's it, it's really a B style movie. But gosh, my dad would have loved this movie. My dad would have been all of this movie. Thought this movie was the best thing in the world. So, um, if you get a chance, check it out. You can't expect much from it. It's cheesy. It's kind of like watching an Andy Sedaris movie where the action scenes are pretty good. They got some, just, but the acting is whoo. And just, some of the dialogue is just like, oh man. But it is a lot of fun. You definitely check it out. This one I give an eight. I'm serious, close to nine. Like I said, it, it's 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 so bad it's good. But Raw Force, oh, God, I like this movie. The next movie I watched was, I guess this cover is okay. Called Evils of the Night. Now, originally why I bought this movie was because I saw the cover and I saw the back and I laughed at this because it looks like the Millennium Falcon to me. Um, but just an extra, um, was it an extra cockpit right here? It cracked me up. Um, I don't know if they show, see, even on this cover, this is look, you're not this look up, there it is again. You know, I mean, they just, this was absolutely hilarious. I really enjoyed this movie. I'm not kidding you. They, um, so show you the bat. I mean, it's just, th this movie cracked me up. It was so hilarious. It's about these group of aliens that were taking these people and harvesting them, and people find out about. It. They're trying to stop them. They got these two bumbling idiots that work at this uh, that work at this gas station that are capturing these kids from because they need teenagers because teenagers have like more strength or something like that. And it was just they're basically like al they call they call them alien vampires. Um, it's just, they're out for, oh, they're out for teenage, but it's just, it's, a, I don't want to say too much because it's not much of a plot to it. It's just that the, the, these, these alien vampires are taking these teenagers to use them to take them back to the planet, whatever. But it's, it, and it's, I'm like, can you, there's some scenes and you're just scratching your going, oh, this is bad. So they actually, but it was actually a lot of fun. It's funny because the space scenes in the movie were, I, I, I know for a fact, because I'm a big Battlestar Galactica fan, they, they, they use Battlestar Galactica footage because the footage of the shuttles they use in this movie for the aliens to get around in, in space 
It is a Battlestar Galactica shuttle. I would bet my life on it. It is hilarious. The scenes, I literally found that scene of Battlestar Galactica and was able to match them up. Like, yeah, there it is. They just stole the scene. So I thought that was absolutely hilarious. I really did like this. So I, I would give it a nine. It's so bad. It's that good. But I really did enjoy it. So evils of the nine. <laughs> This last one I watched, this one, um, not not so funny. It, I would, I really like this movie. I, I remember since I know, when I was in college, I worked at a mom and pop video store. So um, I used to see all these movies come through all the time. It's back in the uh, when I worked there was the VH, was the midst of the VHS, you know, heyday. So I remember this cover to this movie, but I never saw it. Actually, I don't know if I owned it on VHS for a time, but I remember going to watch it once, and the VHS was damaged because I bought it used and was damaged. So. I got this movie on, you know, I got, I, I remember vaguely about this movie, and then this was on the Vinegar Syndrome sale, I was like, I'm just gonna grab it, Blood Games, this movie was not what I expected, that's the alternate cover from this, but this movie was not what I expected, I really like this movie, I want to watch this movie again, um, essentially what it is, it's, it's about a group of, uh, as a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, <clears throat> it's a baseball team, an all-female baseball team, the movie starts off with them playing against these Man, they're total hicks out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, a bunch of rednecks, really, out there in the middle of nowhere. And they, for some reason, they're the coach of the girls' baseball team worked with this guy in town to get them to play like an exhibition game with or something like that. Well, of course, the girls beat the living daylights out of the guys in this game. I mean, they just, I think, and the score was like 15 to 2 or at the end or something like that. They beat the living daylights out of them. Well, of course, the guy who leads this town is like the big bad guy, and he's upset with his son who was on the team that didn't win, and then the guys were messing with a couple of the girls, and the the son dies. So then, of course, this, this guy who runs the town goes and sends all of his cronies after these girls in this bus to travel on a bus to go kill them all for killing his son, which it was an accident. The guy was trying to do some mad stuff to her, this one girl, so she was defending herself. So then the rest of the movie is these guys going after these girls, and these girls are driving this... this, uh, uh, this kind of converted old school bus it ends up breaking down or they get they get stuck so they get out and then they're running across the forest these guys are following them and it's really just a kind of one by one people are getting picked off a couple of the guys get picked off and a couple of girls it's kind of one one until they get all the way to the end it was really good the effects were really good the acting was pretty good in this movie um it, it, it I, the cinematography was really well done this is a really really well done movie it really surprised me. I really got into it right at the beginning of the ball game. I, I started watching it, and the guys were doing be, being jerks. You know, one guy elbowed this girl in the face and knocked her out, and you know they're being jerks. All the girls got back at him because they took a baseball when they were out there and threw it in his uh, <clears throat> area and knocked him down. So I mean, it, it, it started off like a really good. I, I really got into it really quickly, and then as it, it kind of drew me in more and more as I watched it, I kind of go, okay, what's going to happen next? How are they going to handle it? You know, what are they going to do? And, and the girls stepping up at times where you thought certain girls were like, okay, they're going to take out really quickly. And then they end up doing these like Rambo stuff, which is really cool. They started, you know, they, they, they fought back and they're taking out some of these guys. And it was like, okay, this is a fair game here, you know. So um, it was really well done. I really liked it. It's a great, fun thrill ride. This is a 9 and a 10. I liked it that much. I know there's a lot of people are probably bash It's old school 80s kind of cheese. But I thought it was really fun. I really, really liked it. I really got into it. Like again, I liked the characters that were in the movie. Um, I thought the acting was pretty good. Um, a couple of the deaths I could kind of see coming, but a couple other ones I didn't see coming. You know, um, it's a couple of small twists and turns in here that they went around. And a, one of the character actors, I'm a big fan of. Uh, uh, him unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago. His name is Buck Flowers. He was in he was in uh, Village of the Damned. He kind of pop up in a bunch of movies. He's always that guy in the background like, hey, what's going on? He's in this movie too, and he's hilarious in this movie. At the, the same time, he's as a jerk at the same time. But um, it, it was really fun. I really, really liked it. I would really recommend anybody that's really into horror movies and likes a good, just fun horror movie, this is your bet, man. I guarantee you really like this. I, I can't wait to watch it again. So that is it for my reviews. I just want to thank everybody for watching them. Hopefully you got something out of those. Leave me some comments down below. Have you seen any of these movies? And if so, did you like any of them? Let me know. Uh, click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos by who? Uh, me, Big D. Click the little bell and that'll notify you when you put, put up new videos. Thank you guys all again so much for watching. I really, really do truly really appreciate it. Please be safe out there. Take care. But again, always keep hunting. You never know what you're going to find. And as always, live long and prosper. Bye.